welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now is Jill Griego and the new president of Junior Achievement of Kansas, Bill Blazing. Good morning, morning. guys. Hello. Morning. So it's kind of an exciting new era for Junior Achievement of Kansas, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Very exciting. Yes. <laughs> We're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so to start out, Bill, um, welcome to the show. And please introduce yourself to the viewers out there and kind of what brought you here to Junior Achievement. Well, uh, Bill Blazing, I came to Junior Achievement. Uh, I used to work in the nonprofit space in uh, oral health care, in charitable mm -hmm. oral health care. Mm -hmm. And the uh, COVID just kind of shut all that down. Of course. So back in uh, December of 2020, I ended up getting laid off from, from what I was doing in that role and kept looking for something in the nonprofit space because I just really kind of fell in love with the sector. And one thing led to another and Junior Achievement had an opening for their president role. So I, I started pursuing that and the board was good enough to believe I could get the job <laughs> done. So here I am. This is my second day on the job. Yes. So. <laughs> It's so wild. It's only the second day, but you're you're on the ground running already. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Hit the ground. Absolutely great. And yeah, so tell me about kind of what you guys hope for the future of Junior Achievement. Now, like I said, it's kind of a new era. I'm, I'm sure you guys have been doing some great things in the past now, and you want to keep some of that mm -hmm. up. What's changed? Is anything changing? Staying the same for right now? How, has anything been laid out yet? It's day two. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I'll let Jill have that one. Um. So you know, we've we've. Try, we're trying to get back to where we were pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. of course. Um, we've done some things differently in the last several years because of COVID, um, but we're, we're definitely more um, engaged in the classrooms and in the community in the last year or so. And uh, it's just trying to, you know, recommunicate that uh, we lost a lot of volunteers when mm -hmm. we couldn't go into the classroom and that we're now back in the classrooms uh, teaching, uh, you know, the youth about entrepreneurship and financial literacy. And so uh, looking to get people to make sure that they understand we need volunteers. That's our biggest thing. Um, but, you know, with Bill's, you know, expertise and everything that we have, you know, we want, want to be able to grow and expand and make sure that we're, we're reaching more students, you know, year after year. So. Of course. And uh, yeah, so uh, I, can I ask specifically, are there any future plans in the in the work cooking in your brain at the very least? Well, just basically expansion of the programs, yeah. you know, uh, Junior Achievement's been around, you know, since 1919 and it's just got such a great impact across the world, really. Uh, here in Kansas, we we help over 28,000 kids throughout the state with our programs that basically are, are part of our three pillars of financial literacy career readiness and entrepreneurship. And we think if we can help kids K through 12 to have some kind of a, a foundation of those kinds of mm -hmm. concepts that we can help them to not only have better lives in their, in their school going experience, thinking entrepreneurial, creative problem solving, just things like that. We teach them age, age appropriate programs to help them to learn these things. So as they go through school, then migrate out of school you know, they've got, they've got some of the skill sets necessary to really hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. To either be a great candidate for a job or to be an entrepreneur and start their own business, whatever, whatever it takes. And we're teaching them that, that, like I said, K through 12, and we just want to do more of that. So yeah. we want to expand the programs as much as we possibly can. Absolutely wonderful. And you mentioned kind of looking for more volunteers, mm -hmm. of course. How can people reach out to you guys to become a volunteer, or become part of the program, all, all that? Yeah, so um, of course I can always reach out to, to myself or to Bill, but um, on the JA of Kansas website, there is a form on there. Um, that if you're interested in becoming a volunteer to ask for your information, what area you're in, you know, because we have di uh, three different districts. We're in Topeka, Lawrence, and Wichita. And so um, for anybody that's interested in those areas or know people in those areas that, you know, it helps contact name information and possibly what grades you're interested in teaching. You know, there's some that love teaching kindergarten, like myself. I feel like we're on the same page as kindergartners. Uh, we get along great. Um, but then there's some that are, you know, better at teaching the, the middle school, junior high, and high school kids. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it just, it's whatever's interested, you know, that people are interested in doing. And, and like I said, the form is on the website. We are going to be revamping the website a little bit, so it'll be easier for people to go in and find some volunteer opportunities in the future, too. Amazing. And what kind of, like, teaching roles and volunteer roles, like, are there? that people would be signing up for? So with JA, we, we give you the whole kit. We give you the whole, everything you need, the tools and everything to go into the classroom. You know, I just did two kindergarten classes last week and the kit comes and it has a little book and it literally is a how-to what you do each day. And it lays out what you're gonna do, what, um, you know, the 
tools that are in there, the stickers, the workbooks, you know, the different activities that you're going to do, what you're trying to achieve. And so it literally lays it out for you day to day. So it's super easy to do. It's, I mean, it's just handing it to you, <laughs> mm -hmm. reading it in advance and then being able to do it. Even yeah. I can do it. Yes, exactly. and that's what I tell people. If I can yeah. do it, I feel like anyone can. And, you know, the first time I did it, I was so nervous. And I did teach a kindergarten class. But they're so excited mm -hmm. to have somebody in there that's not their teacher, right? Of it's course. somebody new. It's somebody, what you know, and you explain where you're from, what you do. And, you know, you can't really go wrong. You know, they're not going to know if you make a mistake on something <laughs> or if you don't get everything covered. Uh, they just are really interested in that you have somebody coming in and teaching them something a little different than what they get in the traditional, mm -hmm. you know, school day. Sounds like a great opportunity for anybody out there. Yeah. I think it sounds wonderful. It's great work you guys are doing. And, you know, we're almost out of time. But I just, any last words for the people, the community out there that you'd like to say to them? Well, I'm just thrilled to be here. I mean, uh, our... our as a nonprofit, we're always inviting people to consider uh, financially supporting us. You know, our fiscal mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. ends on June 30th. So, you know, I would encourage whoever might be watching, if you have an inclination, we would love to have your financial support. Uh, you can go to our website and do that as well. Uh, help us end the year strong. Mm -hmm. And as the new president, I'd be thrilled to have a strong end <laughs> of the, the fiscal year and start the new one yeah. out, uh, just taking off like a rocket. So. We appreciate everybody out there yeah. as far as not only their financial support, but the, uh, the volunteers as well. And we're always looking for more of all of that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. This has been, this has been a pleasure. I'm looking forward to having you guys on again. Right, we'll be here. You. Thank yes. you. And of course, to learn more, you can visit kansas.ja.org.